Joe here. So for the last couple of years at it, we've been working pretty much in secrecy on next generation technology and a next generation game for it. And uh, this is actually going to be the first time we've shown anything that we've been doing publicly. And we managed to put this together in really a pretty quick time, which speaks pretty highly to the Mac platform as a you know, development and deployment station. So uh, this, here we are with our first public showing of some of the things that we're working on here. Now, I've always thought of what I do with game technology as basically providing a canvas for the artists and designers to work on. And with this new generation of technology, it's really almost literally true. What we've got here is the entire world covered in unique textures, where this is 20 some odd gigabytes of texture covering this track area here. And the artists have the ability to go in and change anything they want. They can start with a model built however they want, whatever tools they want to use. But then they can go in and they can go in through some pretty neat tools and look at the world and say, I want to change the color of this mountaintop or I want to carve my initials onto this rock here. And this level of flexibility is really something that we've never had before, where they have unlimited ability to change as much as they want on the surfaces with no impact on the performance or the stability of the game. So we can build the game, make sure it's fun, and then we can put artists on it to go ahead and make it look as good as we have time and resources to do. So we can even have six artists working on one of these worlds at the same time, where they can go in and build whatever they need to. And we've got, uh, you know, we're pretty excited about what we're going to be doing with this technology. And in fact, we're going to be showing uh, on the Mac platform, the PC, the PS3, and the 360, same data running. Uh, we're going to be demoing this at E3 as well as uh, at our QuakeCon in August. And I expect to actually have another Mac-related announcement to make at that time, which we can't quite go into right now. But this is all running live, and we literally got this together in the last 10 days, so I'm quite happy with what we're able to do. And it's going to wind up being a lot better. Give me four more days, and it's going to be twice as smooth. <laughs> so, I, but I think it's a pretty good show. Right? 